Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show some interesting products you might find extremely useful. I'm always testing things out, trying to find what's a good product, good price, and that actually works. We're going to start out with the solar charger. Now this particular one is my wife's Lexus. And what it is, is it's a Sooner Power AC 20 watt Pro battery charger and maintainer. And as usual, I'm testing it out so you don't have to. Now my wife's Lexus sits half the year unused. In the past, when I came back, I'd have to jump start it, charge up the battery. It's not good for a battery to go flat, and if you're stuck somewhere, it's a pain in the butt. This is a very simple, reliable system, and it's worked fine for me. As you can see, it's simple to install. There's many ways to install, but this is the simplest. Plugs into the power outlet, plugs into the charger. Now, you put it in the sun, and you can see this little red light's flashing on and off. That means it's charging. This is right now, look, we'll unplug it, and now the color's gonna change. Now it's green, and the green means that it's ready to charge. It means the system's working, but as soon as you plug it in, it switches to charging mode. We'll just plug it in there, and as you can see, I can see it in the window, it's reflecting off, but you probably can't see it in the camera. Now it's flashing red, meaning it's charging the battery and maintaining it. This system's set up so it won't overcharge, but it's maintaining your battery, giving it a little bit of trickle charge when it needs it. This thing sat for months, and now the car runs, but it's not fully charged because it sat for such a long time. This is now fully charging it while it's sitting in the sun. Just have it sitting there so I don't care. You can mount it wherever you want. You can put it in the back, and this thing's waterproof. You can even put it outside if you want, but then again, somebody might steal it. It's safer inside the car, right? While it's flashing on and off, it both trickle charges the battery and flow charges it, so it will increase the lifespan of your battery. Because if there's one thing batteries like, it's being charged slowly, and being that it's a relatively small solar panel, it's not dangerously overcharged anything, it is just gradually keeping your battery up so let's say you're gonna park weeks at an airport just leave it charging maybe you got a car out in the country you leave it there or in the case of my son we got one hooked up to his boat out in the country it's on the trailer right and last year it went flat dead and it would start the boat what a pain when you get in the water right since it's waterproof we just put it on the outside of the tarp on the boat plug it into the power outlet and voila it keeps the battery charged and it makes it last longer too because one of the worst things for batteries is to let them go completely flat all the time it'll kill their lifespan this is actively float charging it then it leaves it alone it adds some more when it needs to the people that design these things hey they've gone a long way from the old ones that would overcharge them or undercharge them these actually will make your battery last longer which is one really good thing of course the other thing is you're not going to be stranded anywhere because you'll always have some charge the sun comes out sometime right and it's charging it when the sun is out when the sun isn't out yeah it's not charging it but if the thing's just sitting there what do you care you're not driving it anyways it'll just keep charging it over and over and make it last longer and let's say you're a real cheapskate you don't want to buy a new battery you can leave this thing hooked up all the time you can put it in the back window or something out of the way <laughs> and then you wouldn't have to buy a battery for a while because it would keep charging it up enough to run the car now, as you can see it's 79 bucks on Amazon. I've tried out many of them I tried out some that cost less than half the price this one but guess what they broke <laughs> they didn't hold up over time, right? Modern day batteries can go anywhere from 150 to 400 hours for the battery. You want it to last as long as possible and you don't want to get stuck somewhere. So you got some place you want to recharge a battery. Let's say you got a riding lawnmower or an ATV, right? You can just leave that hooked up when you're not using it. If the lawnmower is in a shed, you can stick it outside the shed, run the wire to it. You got an ATV that's stored somewhere leave it like my son's boat leave it on it so it'll always be ready and you'll have a full charge to have some fun and not have to worry about it because let's face it a lot of us go out in the woods where there's no power hey this thing will pick the battery always start up where you are and you can have fun 
without well, having to worry about a dead battery. Now the next item I'm talking about is this Luck Keep Folding Bicycle. And I have to talk about it for two main reasons. Yeah, there's millions of them out there. They're all made in China, right? But this has two big advantages. It's low price compared to the others and how fast it can actually go. As you can see, it's 799 bucks. It's a pedal bike, also has an electronic throttle, and on its own, it can go 30 miles an hour on the throttle alone. It's got dual disc brakes, hydraulic, these aren't cable, these are hydraulic, front and back, and it's also a folding bike that you can fold down, and of course, you can fold it up, the middle and the side, Fold it up, put it in the back of the car, and it has front adjustable shocks on it. Pretty solid passenger or whatever you want. Tie stuff on there for carrying stuff. In today's market, $7.99 for a bike like that is really something, okay? I got bikes like this that only go 20 miles an hour that cost $1,799. A thousand bucks more than this, more than twice as much, right? I also have ones that'll go this fast, but they cost $2,700. Usually when you buy one of these bikes, you're always making a compromise. You're like, okay, it's 700 bucks. Maybe it's not as fast. Well, this one is. It goes 30 just with the throttle, right? As you'll see, I'll pick the bike up, hit the throttle. 30 miles an hour. And that's without pedaling. Go faster if you want to pedal. You can put it at whatever level you want. You don't have to go that fast. Cause see, you got level one, level two, and level three. Level four, level five. It's about 30 miles an hour by itself. But if you want to go slower, hey, just put it down to lower speeds, then it won't go as fast. And you have to buy all the extras. It came with a phone holder. It's even got a burglar alarm system on it. Look. <laughs> it will not start pushing the start button unless you have the remote and you have to go one, two, now it beeps, and you can turn it on. If you don't have that remote, it won't start so people can't start it up and drive away. Pretty cool. And when you're done, put the alarm on. Get out, see if you got turn signals on it. For that price. Cool little turn signals, look at that. And brake lights too. I do have to say, I'm impressed for this bike at this price for what you get. I've got ones that are just as fast, but they cost 1,500 bucks more. And I have ones that are slower, and they still cost $1,000 more than this thing does. For what you get, and it's a folding bike too, so you can fold it up, put it in your trunk, right? I gotta say, somebody isn't as greedy as the rest of them. From what people tell me, they make these things in China for like 500 bucks, so. Hey, they can sell this for $7.99, right? Hey, the ones that they're selling for $1,000 more from what my bike friend who runs a bike shop in Rhode Island told me, they all cost about 500 bucks to make, so the other people are just greedy and marking them up. Finally, somebody comes out and they're not as greedy as everybody else, and they're selling a pretty quality electric bike at a much lower price than everybody else's. And they didn't skimp. Hey, it's got hydraulic disc brakes, not cable disc brakes. Turn signals, goes 30 miles an hour. Has a seven speed Shimano shifter on it. I gotta say, I'm impressed by this little bike. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is this great little flashlight. You can see it's super bright. We had a hurricane hit us about a week ago, half a mile down the street. Luckily, I was sent two of these lights. Now, the phenomenal lights, they lasted a really long time. They got two settings, super bright, then they got less bright, and then you turn them off, right? They lasted quite some time during the blackout. We didn't have power for four days, and as you can see, there's lots of ways of charging. It's got a regular USB cable, or it also has a cable, that's the same cable as I use for my Google Pixel to charge the phone up. So, luckily amongst all my crap, I've got a bunch of battery packs, right? So, the battery packs recharge these things 10 times. Tons of power left in the battery pack if you're gonna be prepared for any kind of outage. Have some nice, decent battery packs that can charge these things up. Because once they're charged up, they go for hours, but if you don't have power for four days, you need something to charge them up with eventually, right? What I like about this, you can use it for anything, working on cars, reading books like I did when the power went out, because it's magnetic. And not only is it magnetic, but it's also angular. Look, you can put it whatever angle you want. That is very handy. You put it on something metal, 
it's not going to fall off and you don't have to worry about oh i can't tip it the right way hey it tips itself and locks in place i gotta say it's a great device it's only got one major problem and that is i don't know who the heck makes it there is not a mark on this thing anywhere with a name, right? So, you people who make stuff in China but sell in the United States, will you start putting names on the things? Now, here's how I found it. I just downloaded the Google Lens. Then I just took a picture of it and it took me to Amazon. I gotta say, it's pretty cool. You push the button and then it finds it on Amazon. Hey, what a deal. Gee, who makes this? Where is it sold? Hey, take a picture of the thing and there it is on Amazon. It ain't the waste any time i gotta say hey it's a very good light because it's wide band you can read at it at night i walked up and down the stairs with it so i didn't fall down in the dark when i'm working on cars i can stick on anything metal and then it turns and locks in place i'm so sick of working on cars i got a flashlight set up and then i move my arm and then i nudge it and the light falls down right it's magnetic and it locks in place i gotta say this was a really good flashlight and it's really handy that it came before the tornado hit so it was all prepared let's face the facts everybody's got phone charges that'll fit here or usb plugs so really nobody wants to be left in the dark and when you're working on stuff you want to be able to see what you're doing i'm really impressed but it's a good thing they sent me two of them I could put one in each car. And of course, it might save you your car too because it's also a warning light in case you get in trouble. It sticks on your car and won't fall off. So that's it for today. Me testing out products so you don't have to waste your time and buy some pile of crap. Why take a crap shoot when you buy something? Let me test it out. And in that respect, if you got a company or whatever, sell something like this, some product you think is really worth it, hey, just send it to me. Scotty Kilmer at gmail.com. I can tell you where to send it. You can send it to me, and I honestly test them up. My wife is always saying, you got all these electric bicycles, you know, why are you taking up too much space? What are you going to do with it? I test them out. And when I got this one, she said, oh, not another electric bicycle. But I'm more open-minded. I tested it out, and I really liked that it. it went 30 miles an hour by itself. But then I find out it was only $7.99. The other one I have that goes 30 miles an hour was $2,700. And sure, it had nicer welds and stuff, you know, and it weighed a little bit less. More aluminum, less steel. But hey, steel is pretty strong, people. <laughs> And it's not going to bend like aluminum can bend. So, I love testing things out. Test them out honestly. You got something? Send it to me. Or if you've got something that you say is a real pile of crap that you hate, tell me about that so I can warn other people. Because after all, we're in this together. Let's help each other out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.